In this video, you will learn how to hide columns in Excel. This video includes four parts that will help you not only hide columns in Excel, but also hide unused columns, hide rows, and unhide columns as you need. Let's start with the hide columns part. This section provides six methods to help you hide columns in Excel. Now we will start with the first method. Use the hide option in the context menu. In this data range, I want to hide the date of birth, age, and title columns. So I click the column letter C to select the date of birth column first, hold and drag the mouse to the column letter D to select the adjacent age column. Then hold down the control key, click the column letter F to select the title column. After selecting the columns you want to hide, right click on any column letter of the selected columns, and then select hide from the right clicking menu. The selected columns are now hidden. Next, let's explore the second method, use QTools with a single click. After installing QTools, open the worksheet where you want to hide columns, go to the QTools tab, select navigation from the ribbon. In the opening navigation pane, go to the column list section. Now, you can easily hide a column by clicking the eye icon to the right of a specific column header in the pane. You can click the eye icon again to unhide the column if needed. The advantage of using this feature to hide columns is that it helps to hide columns with a single click without the need to select columns beforehand. Here is the third method using to hide columns in Excel, use Excel shortcut. In this data range, I want to hide the date of birth, age, and title columns. So I click the column letter C to select the date of birth column first, hold and drag the mouse to the column letter D to select the adjacent age column. Then hold down the control key, click the column letter F to select the title column. Then press the control and zero keys together. Then you can see that all the selected columns are hidden at once. Let's move to the fourth method. The fourth method guide you to use the format option on the ribbon to hide columns. In this data range, I want to hide the date of birth, age, and title columns. So I hold down the control key to select one cell in each of these three columns. Under the home tab, click format, hide and unhide, hide columns. Now, the columns where the selected cells are located are hidden. Here is the fifth method, use the plus sign to hide columns. Here we still use the same example, hide the date of birth, age and the title columns in the data range. First, I need to group the adjacent date of birth and age columns, since the title column is not adjacent to them, and needs to be grouped separately. Here I click the column number C to select the date of birth column, and then hold, and drag the mouse to the column letter D to select the adjacent age column together. Go to the Data tab, and then go to Click, Group, Group. You can see that an outline symbol displayed above the selected columns. Next, I select the title column, go to Click, Group, Group under the Data tab. Now you have created two column groups. Then you can click the minus sign at the top of the group to hide all the columns within the group. And you can click the plus sign to show the columns again. The last method will show you how to use VBA code to hide columns in Excel. Suppose you have a large table with many columns in your worksheet and want to hide multiple adjacent and non-adjacent columns at the same time. You can run VBA code to automate the process of hiding the columns instead of hiding them manually. To hide columns with VBA code, please do as follows. Press the Alt and F11 keys to open the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window. In this window, click Insert Module. And then paste the VBA code in the Module Code window. The description section of this video lists the link to the page of the corresponding article, and you can go to the articles to copy the code as needed. You can modify this range in the code to include the columns that you want to hide. The range can contain both adjacent and non-adjacent columns. Here I will hide the column C to F, L to N and Z. Then press the Run button to run the code. If a Macros dialog box pops up, click the Run button. 
then you can see the columns you specified in the VBA code are all hidden. This is the end of the hide columns part. The second part of the video will show you how to hide unused columns in Excel. Sometimes you may need to hide all unused columns and make only the working area visible in your worksheet. In this worksheet, the working area is the columns from A to G. Unused columns extend to the right from column H. Hiding unused columns in a worksheet can help make the data in the worksheet easier to read. It can also help to reduce visual clutter and make it easier to focus on the relevant data. This section will show you two methods to accomplish this task. Let's start with the first method, hide unused columns with shortcut. This method includes two shortcuts to help you accomplish this task. The first shortcut is used to select all unused columns. Here I need to select the column to the right of the last column with data. So I click the column number H to select the column H. Then press the shortcut Ctrl, Shift and right arrow to select all unused columns to the right of the used range. After selecting all unused columns, press the Ctrl and 0 keys to hide them all at once. All unused columns are now hidden. The second method is to use QTools to hide unused columns. After installing QTools for Excel, select all the columns used. Here I select the columns from A to G. Go to the QTools tab. Select Show and Hide, Set Scroll Area. Now all unused columns are hidden. This section will briefly demonstrate how to hide rows in Excel. Here I will only describe how to hide the selected rows using the Hide option in the right-click menu. In this example, I want to hide the 5th and 8th rows of the worksheet. So I click the row number 5 to select the 5th column, hold down the Control key, then click the row number 8 to select the 8th column. Right-click on any row number of the selected rows, and select Hide from the right-clicking menu. The 5th and 8th rows are hidden. The last section of this video is how to unhide columns in Excel. You will learn the methods to unhide all hidden columns, and unhide certain hidden columns in this section. To unhide all hidden columns in a worksheet, follow these steps. Click the Select All button to select the entire worksheet. Right-click on any column letter, and select Unhide from the right-clicking menu. Then all hidden columns in current worksheet are displayed. To unhide certain hidden columns, do as follows. In this example, I need to unhide the column C and D. So I click the column letter B to select the column B. Hold and drag the mouse to the column letter E to select the column E together. Right-click the selection and select Unhide from the right-clicking menu. The specified columns are now displayed. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.